the day that we are about to celebrate. We are about to celebrate Gaur Purnima, especially in Gaudiya Sampraday. This is the Sampraday of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The line is of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Today is the most, most auspicious day. Yet, yesterday, we will celebrate the Vedvyas appearance day tomorrow, but yet also today, Krishna with the Vedvyas today, we will listen about. Till now we have been listening about it from the mouth of the devotees, the glorifications of Vyasti. Beautifully, the speakers today have expressed and expressed very beautiful angle of vision today. And they have explained everything very nicely. So, so that's why I would like to offer my Tadvat Pranam to everybody and my good wishes about Guru Tattva they told about Guru Tattva the word Guru is two words Guru Gu, the word Gu means darkness and the Ru word means light. So these two words join and if you join these two words, what will become Guru? The word is very small, it's just two letters, Guru, not much. But the meaning, it is very, very deep. Is extremely deep in this material world one is guru and one is the guru there are two words guru guru means heavy heavy like huge and and second is the opposite Lagu. Lagu. The word Lagu means light. Like less weight. We know the heavy thing goes down. If you weigh them on a weighing machine, like if you compare, the lightweight thing goes up. Like the cotton goes up. Cotton flies above. You see, the iron, iron rod, where does it stop? Down. A piece of iron goes down. It's heavy. So that's why the meaning is we always give importance to the heavy things, we don't give value to the lightweight things. Look, I will express this a bit more detail, in a bit more detail. People who sit on the ground, they are saying Jamindar, like the, the Hindi proverb, Jamindar. And the people who sit on a chair, on a higher level, they are known as Chaukidar, like security guard. Security guard. So Zamindar means like owner of the land and Chokidar means security guard. So where you all are sitting? You are sitting on the ground. You are sitting on the ground. So that's why you all are what? Zamindar. You are the owner of the land. And where am I sitting? I'm sitting on a on higher level. I'm on the seat. It's a very huge seat. What are the Nagunas? Chokidar. Chauki is like a chair and Chokidar means security guard. So who is bigger? A security guard, security guard is big or a owner of the ground is big? So Chokidar or Zamindar?
Oh, so it's like it's like we torn a dhoti and made many many handkerchiefs out of it. Who is big? Zamindar, the owner of the land. Zamindar is big. Chokidar security guard, they just sit outside. They are doing job. Is there any value of security guard? They can, if, uh, you can fire security guard anything. But zamindar, owner of the land, is owner of the land. It's true or not? That's why you all are heavy and you all are zamindar. You are owner of the land. Give a big round of applause. You all are very glorious. My throat has been unwell for a few days. So that because I'm traveling within countries, suddenly. So my throat has been unwell as I've been traveling from countries from cold weather to hot weather. So I was telling about Guru Tattva. The darkness in our heart. The that darkness can only be destroyed. The one who destroys that darkness and attracts us toward the light, that is known as Guru. Guru is not a normal thing. Not an ordinary. So there's a slok also in scripture, Guru Brahma. Guru is Vishnu, Guru is Brahma, Guru is Deva, Guru is Maheshwara. Guru Sakshat Brahma. That's my Shri Guru Enama. As per Advaita Vadis, they think, and the ideology of Vaishnav is very different. Advaita Vadis, they, they say Guru is. Brahma. Guru is Vishnu. And Guru is Shivji, Lord Shiva. And Guru is the Super Soul. So that's how they explain it. But look, in Gauriya Sampradaya, Gauriya culture, pure, in the pure opinions, they express this sloka very beautifully. Who, what is Gurudev like? Gurudev, he is not Brahma, he is like Brahma. Gurudev, he is like Brahma. Like Brahma, he creates the universe. I will express this in detail. In scripture, there are three tattvas. One is the Srishti Tattva, the art, the creation, and one is the managing. One is creation, the second is managing, and the third one is destru destruction. So, Brahma is known as the creator, like he creates. And Vishnu is known as maintainer who takes care of everything, each and everything is working perfectly. And Lord Shiva, what does he do? He is known as the Lord of Destruction. He causes destruction to the creation. The sloka they are expressing, Guru is Brahma, meaning Guru in our heart, they give mantras and they make the bhakti appear in the heart of the devotee. They create bhakti in the heart of the devotee. So Vishnu, Vishnu, he takes care of that bhakti. He maintains that bhakti, takes care of it, give it what it needs. And Lord Shiva, what is his the responsibility? All the type of anarthas in the heart of the devotees, anger, lust, and many, many types of anarthas. There are many, many anarthas, many, many lifetimes. Gurudev, what does he do? He destroys all the anarthas in the heart. That's why. So, that's why we say Guru is like Shiva and we offer him Pranam as like Shiva. Like Guru is Shiva in our life. In form of Vishnu, we give him Pranams. And in form of Brahma also, we offer Pranam. Gurudev is everywhere. Gurudev is everywhere with us, always with us. You are not alone. 
लॉर्ड राम स्मृति हो सीता राम What is the meaning? You are not alone, Lord. In form of super soul, He is always with you. You are not alone. Ram is with you. You are not alone. He is there with you. What does Guru do? He gives mantras and they they purify the consciousness of the devotee, of the disciple, and then they increase their bhajan and they meet make their disciple meet to the God. This is the importance of God. Oh, sorry, importance of Guru. This is the importance of Guru. A Guru. I cannot give Prem Bhakti like this, that is not a Guru. That Guru is not Guru, who cannot give us Prema Bhakti, the pure devotional of Divine Love. What is the responsibility of Guru? All type of anarthas in the heart of the disciple unwanted things, it destroys them. And then, Guru offers the disciple to the lotus feet of the Lord. God. Gurudev gives bhakti. And through bhakti, we can attain God. Like the previous speakers told very beautifully. Like when you receive mantras, you can do not take the darshan of God. To get darshan of God, to attain God, the only solution is with a very beautiful expression. Told, there are four sampradayas Sri, Brahma, Rudra, Sanak Sampradaya. These four sampradayas, under these four sampradayas, sampradaya, after taking mantras, the mantras give fruit. It is explained in scriptures. Shri Sampradaya. Shri Brahma Rudra, Brahma Rudra Sanat. These four sampradayas are the pure sampradaya. So, getting mantra, we do not get attain the God. I'm not saying, I am apologize. This is slow from Padma Puran. There is a slok in Padma Puran. So, if you go here and there, apart from these four sampradaya and take mantra, you won't get the fruits. So, there's a special process to attain the mantras. People go to the karmis, yogis, gyanis, mayavadis. People don't know the what is mayavad. What is Mayavad? A Mayavadi person won't say, I am Mayavadi. They won't say, I am Mayavadi. Who is Mayavadi? Those who don't accept the eternal form of God. They don't accept the inconceivable potencies of God, don't accept His power. They just say, I am Brahma. They are preaching with this ideology that I am Brahma. Our scriptures say they are known as Mayavadi.
This is the shloka that expresses Brahma is the truth. Whatever you see in this material world, all this is contaminated. There is no such thing as Jiva. Brahma is through Maya. Brahma has appeared and is giving giving the explanation that I am a Jiva. When the Maya goes out, then they become Brahma. They get merged in Brahma. This is not a pure conception, not a pure ideology. That's why they say Mayavadis Apradi. In Chaitanya Chaitamrit, this is expressed, written. Those who say, I am Brahma and they preach, they are Apradi offenders. In Gita, God says, Jiva is, is eternal and they are parts and parcels of my no God. And that's why the path and parcel of a thing cannot be the whole thing itself, right? But if someone say, I am Brahma, and, and they preach like this, this becomes offense. God has a very beautiful form, transcendental form. God is so huge. God is threefold bended form. Plays flute through his sidelong glances. And he dances. And he attracts the hearts of everyone and he's wearing a beautiful garland. So who has a very beautiful flower, Karnika flower, in one year or the other year? So beautiful, he wears yellow pitambar clothes. And on his lips, he holds a beautiful flute and he plays it. And and he goes to for cow herding with his uh, friends. This is a very beautiful form explained of Krishna. And Advaitavadis say, God has no form, God is formless. Do you have eyes or not? You tell me. Do you have eyes? But some, if someone say, If you say you are, a, if someone say you you are a blind and they say in a rude way, then you will be offended yourself. If a person who is actually blind, uh, if you say someone is blind, they become offended. Those who don't have leg, if someone is handicapped, they're handicapped and they're walking like with a support. And what do you call them? Like a handicapped person. If you tell them, oh, you are handicapped, then they will become angry. So see, a person who has such a beautiful form and if such a person says that, oh, such a person is formless, so what can be a big offense than this? I am saying this, Krishna Devan Veda Vyas, in Srimad Bhagavat, which is the latest Quran, the beautiful tattvas are expressed in the book. 
महापुरुष यानी कृष्ण कई बार गए तो दस के आगे बात की जा रहे हैं और उनके जीवन चरित्र कथा श्रवण कर रहे हैं We are listening about the Vyas, and we all listen. Krishna, Dai Paya, Veda Vyas. Krishna Himself manifested today. I mean Krishna. Krishna is very beautiful, and Krishna He appeared on an island. Veda Vyas. He manifested the four Vedas, like the Prabhu Ji just explained everything beautifully. Four Vedas, Rik, Sam, Ved, Yajur, Ved. Four Vedas. He appeared. He appeared. The made the manifested the ideologies. Uh, taught by the Vedas, and he made Upanishads, 1180 Upanishads, and he manifested many, many Puranas also. Many, many Puranas, but yet he was not happy. And by the mercy of Naraji, he manifested the latest Puran, Srimad Bhagavad. That's why it is said. The Shrimad Bhagavat is known as the essence of all Ved Puran Upanishad. Like all essence of all the scripture is known as Bhagavat. In the first canto, in the third stroke, it is explained. The Srimad Bhagavad He manifested the scripture at the last at the last. He manifested seventeen Puranas. And the last one was the Srimad Bhagavad. He manifested a beautiful thing in Srimad Bhagavad. All the way the Vedanta Upanishad. The essence of all those is Srimad Bhagavad. Krishna Devana Veda Vyas. If he had not appeared in this material world, in the world, then how possible this Bhagavad Katha would reach us? Advaita Vadi, they say. But in Srimad Bhagavad, they explained properly, like Prabhuji explained. Dharma Artha Kaam, Mani, God, Dharma Artha Kaam, they don't have like the topmost benefit, Chatur Vag, like Dharma Artha Kaam, Moksh, even liberation, this is not the topmost goal, this is not the main goal. We're telling about the Krishna Prem, the love for Krishna, that's why in Srimad Bhagavad, it is explained properly, Srila Vyas Devji explained that the love is the topmost thing. Divine love is the topmost goal. How to attain it is the main goal and main subject. That love is not a normal love. In this material world, what we say love, this is not as material love. This is not the true love in this material world. We say love, love. We say love, love. But where is it? In English, there's a word, I love you. And after some days, they say, they say, I hate you. And then after a few more days, they say, I, I, I leave you and they give up and then after a few days I will kill you <laughs> is this love the love that we say in material world this is not the material love it's just connected with the bodies amongst each other connection of body and when the body dies the love also dies 
But the love expressed by Vyas Dev in Srimad Bhagavata, <laughs> the definition of love, Oh, even for the cause of destruction, if uh, something comes to destroy it, it is never destroyed. It just keeps on increasing and increasing and increasing. Even if there is a reason to destroy it, it does not get destroyed. So this is known as the Divine Transcendental Love. A scripture commentators, they have said, on the peak of the Himalaya mountain, there's a tree of a jamun. 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 So there's a tree of jamun. Jamun fruit. And there's a river behind, uh, below the tree. And the fruit jamun, when it is ripe, when it falls down on the banks of the river, there's some chemical also. So if you take the juice of the jamun, that the gold is created. And that gold does not come in this material world. The devatas, they just take it themselves. They come and take it. So the example is coming. Hem means gold. In this material world, this does not come like this only. Love is a thing. It is not about this material world. It is not a thing of this material world. Not possible in this material world. What love we call in this material world is in reality. It is known as it is known as calm. Last. This is the difference between love and lust. Wherever we have a selfish desire to satisfy our senses, sense gratification, the word lust comes. It is known as calm. And what is prema? Divine love it is very soft. It is extremely condensed and very soft. Very pure. It is a thing. It is only directed towards the pleasure of Krishna. It exists in Nitya Golok Dham Vrindavan. And the message of that love is coming through Srimad Bhagavat. And Srimad Sri Vasudeva Swami Pat sent that message. So, Uddha, big, big devotees, big, big uh, demigods, they all are doing austerities to attain that love. Near Radha Kunda, Kusum Sarovar, there's Udhav Kund, is there, even till today, Udhav, Udhav, who is very near and dear friend of Krishna, is still craving and doing austerities to attain the love, divine love, the Srimad Bhagavat, Vyas Devji, he is giving this message. He is saying, for that love, you also try. How can you attain that? You have to take shelter of the lotus feet of a pure devotee guru. If you take shelter of any guru, first you won't be get delivered from this material world even. And second, it's like so far away, attaining the divine love is so far away. That's why scriptures say, so, so you drink water after filtering and you make a guru after like properly analyzing. So you take mantra from any guru it does not want work so what will what we are thirsty satisfied when we drink water but look 
like prabhu ji was saying like he found uh, water so he just told like the water is mixed with beverage and if you find such water then you will get sick if you drink contaminated water even you will die also you will see a ramo it's like a any proverb which says you will die so that's why we are saying this padma purana shloka i am not saying this vyas dev said himself a vaishnav a non vaishnav who is not a vaishnav listening from the hari katha from a non vaishnav if you hear the nectarian katha from such person then you will be in loss like it is example like if you drink milk then your body gets nourished and if you drink that milk if if it's coming is touched by the mouth of a snake then that milk becomes contaminated and if you drink that milk then you will die there will possibility of you dying so like this if you listen from a non devotee non vaishnav your mantra hari katha from such person then you won't get any fruits that's why in scriptures it is said vaishnav guru we all should take diksha mantra from a vaishnav guru only that's why again and again we are saying this word the vyas dev he gives us this message the vyas dev in ved pran upanishad in bhagavat everywhere he is say expressing oh mothers oh sisters oh brothers sadguru se hi please take diksha initiation from a pure guru then you will be get the benefit to se aapke prashno bhi hoga you will get a question everyone will say i am a pure guru if you go to a market to buy something you go to buy cloth there are so many shops all the shopkeepers will say kya bolenge that my cloth is the top most the best will when anyone say that my cloth is not good not the best they say will they say my cloth is not good will anyone buy all the shopkeepers they will say my cloth is the best you will not get anywhere else in the market you will not get this anywhere else in the market nobody says the truth one day i went to uh, once i went to jagannath puri to buy tulsi mala japa tulsi mala the shopkeeper there tulsi mala hai tulsi mala is sold one mala it had 108 beads in it and there was only one tulsi bead in that mala and the other all other was normal wood they all look the same but tulsi mala he just hold it that one bead and he hold that one bead hey jagannath if this bead is not if this bead is not of tulsi then my all dynasty with during my family die <laughs> so will you believe it or not this is tulsi mala so there was only one tulsi bead in this mala it is only one bead in that mala and you are thinking you are assuming that this whole is tulsi mala what i am trying to say <laughs> everybody keeps advertising in this material world will anyone say that i am not a good guru will anyone say wherever you go mantra mantra any guru they will say i am the best guru like i give example hey jagannath hey jagannath you look if this bead i am holding this one bead this bead is not of tulsi then may my all family and my whole dynasty get um, die get destroyed so i'm the meaning is that we all should think and process 
that what is guru who is guru who should we take mantra from bhajan shil parayan the previous speakers also said very beautifully in a sense So if you go to such guru, that guru, go to a guru that who will, for reality, who will give me prema bhakti, the pure devotional service to Lord. He knows about the topmost thing and you can ask him about that. There are two things in this world. One is Shreya and Priya. Shreya and Priya. Two things. Priya is everybody. Priya body. Priya means like love. But Priya. Priya. Sneha is like consist of love. Shreya. Shreya. It means the. Shreya means absorbed with love. So, to attain that divine love, pure love, to attain Srimad Bhagavad Prem, this is the process. There are three symptoms of Guru. Three qualities of Guru. Those who have knowledge of all scriptures. A guru who removes all the doubts from our hearts. And, and he makes us detached from the material things. And he himself is completely detached. He, like he's living in the material world. And he is not at all attached in anything of this material world. This is known as like proper renunciation, proper Vairagya. One is Phalgu Vairagya and one is Yukta Vairagya. Phalgu Vairagya and Yukta Vairagya. Phalgu Vairagya means like consists of hypocrisy, duplicity, 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 hypocrisy. And if you go to such person, then there is no benefit at all. You live in this material world, no problem. But you should not get attached to anything in this material world. Vitrasur is saying, Hey Prabhu, living in material world is no problem. I might live in material world with my father, family, my children, my wife, my mother, but never want to be attached to anyone in this material world. So all the parikars of Mahaprabhu, eternal associates of Mahaprabhu, all the eternal associates of Mahaprabhu, they all were grihasthas. They did bhajan by living in griha, in the household life. They were householders, but they were not attached to anyone or anything. Ambarish Maharaj, Bhagavat, he was Grasta or he was renunciated person, he was a householder, he was a householder. So how to do bhajan? In Bhagavat it is explained. So you may live in family or we we'll may live in renunciation. This is not the main subject. The main subject is if you are attached or not. What are you attached to? We have one consciousness. There is not two. If you put your consciousness towards material things, it's different or you can put it in towards God. If you put it in material things, then you will be trapped. If you get attached to, if you put your consciousness and attachment towards God, then you will grow. That's why it is said.
Some people, people live in this world like being detached. And third, they live. And the third quality is they love God and the God loves them. They have realization about the God. Those who don't have realization, they cannot give you that thing. This is known as the main qualities. Two are known as the Gaunu Lakshan. Like completely detached from this material world and he has knowledge of all scriptures. These are two things. Second real secondary qualities. And the, what is the primary what is the primary thing that like he has the realization about the God? This is the main thing. Gaur Kishor Das Babaji Maharaj. Which college did he study in? I am not criticizing anybody. They say I have this degree, this big college, I studied from here, here. I topped in this many subjects. I studied this many subjects. But Gurudev used to say, Narayana Goswami Maharaj, Param Gurudev, Gurudev, he used to say, Haridas Thakur, which university? Did he go to, for PhD? Gaur Das Babaji Maharaj, which college did he? Did he do PhD? Gaur Kishordas Babaji Maharaj, and like Haridas Thakur, there are no devotees like them, in, will never be in future and never be in past. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave Haridas Thakur, he gave them this respected title of Namacharya, the preacher, the teacher of the holy name. By knowledge, scholar knowledge, reading scriptures, you cannot attain God. With money, you cannot attain God. There is only one solution, one way to attain God. You have should have nishta and clinging faith towards the uh, pursuit of Guru and God. They just attract the people in this material world. They are like, oh, they are speaking very nice, beautiful, eloquent words. They are attracting them. I am not criticizing. What Gurudev used to say, I am saying. Gurudev used to say, I never go in Sanskrit college, I never study Sanskrit. Gurudev Maharaj, when he used to preach, he said, I never go to Sanskrit university. But Gurudev, when he used to speak, his Sarikatha was so deep, beautiful, and very all attractive. Harikatha he spoke. All the people were surprised. When he started Radha Ras Sudhani, the Srimad Bhagwat, and Rupa Goswami Pada's scriptures, when he broke down the deepest of deepest of shlokas and he spoke about them, all the people they call it so in the divine moods and their hearts got melted. <laughs> this was the glory of Gurudev. <laughs> we have this realization. Um, I'm, what I'm, point I'm trying to make is that by knowledge, brain, you cannot attain God. The main knowledge is that we should have bhakti towards God. I'm not saying that education is bad or PhD is bad. I'm not criticizing anybody here. I'm just making this point that by this process you cannot attain God. There is only one solution to attain God, one process. You have to surrender yourself in the lotus feet of Guru. Nothing else. Nothing else you have to do. So, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. From Calcutta University, he. Astrology. Astrology. Bhakti 
He says he has very big degree of astrology, but he Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Prabhupada, very knowledgeable person. Whose daughter sweet shelter he took? Who, who he took Diksha from? Gaur Kishidar's Baba Ji Maharaj. This is the Gurudev's Pravachan. I'm not, this is not my Harikata. Whatever I say is powerless, but I have faith. If I express about Gurudev used to say, and if I say that, then I become powerful. That speech becomes powerful. When I used to, when I say what Gurudev used to say, Gurudev say, you should see if Guru has realization or not. If Guru has realization, you should take initiation of Diksha Mantra from that Guru. Even if he is very good an expert in many many things in Tantra, Mantra, has many many different qualifications, has knowledge of all the scriptures, he has very deep knowledge, but if he does not have the Krishna Bhakti, and you should not take Mantra Diksha from such Guru, no fruits, no benefit. If you say, if Guru is completely capable, and if he is in a top family and he is very good, knowledgeable person, and he has realization, that is known as like Sone Piswaga, like very, very best, just like a Hindi proverb. Hindi proverb, Sone Peswaga, like very, very best. This is Guru Tattva, very beautiful thing. So this is the purport. I'll just say two words. Like a blind person, a person does not have eyes. If he grabs the hand of another blind person and they walk, then will they reach their destination? Where will they go? If one blind person is leading another blind person, where will they go? They both will fall down. They both will fall down in a pit. What is the meaning? People who are themselves absorbed in material things, anger, lust, absorbed in material things, how will they help another person? So here is Guru word meaning Guru. Guru is like liberated person. He is Hari. And Guru Vashtak, he has expressed this very beautiful. Guru is not God. Guru is eternal associate of God. Sakshad Hari. Meaning, God Himself. By his inconceivable potency, He manifested His power into that in the Guru. Sakshad Hari Toena. Toena word is coming. In all the scriptures, what is Gurudev explained? He is known as the form of Lord uh, Hari, Sri Hari. If we take darshan of Guru like this, that Guru is very, very dear most of the God. We should always respect a Guru like this. 
वन टाइम देवी पार्वती शिव जी ओह हजर हसबैंड यू टेल मी हुई लाइव वर्शिप That time, Lord Shiva said this sloka. Shivji said, "Devi, Parvati, listen. All the types of worshipable things. The top most worshipable is Vishnu. Must worship Vishnu." The shlok did not complete. It is half shlok. Devi Parvati said, "Why are you quiet? Complete the shlok. Complete your sentence. If the word is not sentence is not complete, then the meaning is different." You understand? The sentence is not complete. Then the meaning is completely different. When we put a comma or a full stop, there are three steps to make a shlok. Sometimes there are four sentence, four letters in a shlok. There are two parts of the shloka. One line is. What after it? तो देवी पार्वती इज नॉट एन ऑर्डिनरी वुमेन पीपल से वुमेन आर मैड एंड एंड मेल दे आर वेरी स्कॉलर्स दिस इज नॉट ट्रू स्क्रिप्चर्स दे से देर मेनी मेनी वुमेन डिफीट द बिगेस्ट द बिगेस्ट ऑफ मेल स्कॉलर्स I am not saying the male are less, and we are putting the women up. But no, many people there are bad sanskar. They know women, they know don't know everything. But the sanskar is not there. Like the old. मैत्री एंड गार्गी दीज वुमन यू टेल मी आई एम सींग दिस बिकॉज मैनी पीपल से वुमेन आर यूजलेस वुमेन नो नॉलेज दिस इज नॉट द वे पीपल हु से दिस देम सेल्स आर दे आर स्टूपिड नॉन सेंस दम सेल्स women are also very well scholars vidushi mahila meaning vidushi meaning those have knowledge of all the scriptures so with one word it makes vidushi like devi parvati ka hai devi parvati is saying ye dev aap aap pura shlok to bole nahi oh you did not complete your shloka tell me after that that time not shiva said devi parvati listen This is a very confidential tattva. Not everybody won't be able to understand. Everybody worship Vishnu, but there is paratattva, something beyond Vishnu. I will tell you. He said, "Tell me." Then he is saying. What is the thing beyond that? Vishnu, Vishnu, to attain Vishnu, to attain the Bhagavad Prem, to attain the Bhagavad Prem. I will tell you a confidential tattva. Pati Dev, tell me. The Tadhya Nam Samarchana. Tadhya, who is the most beloved of Vishnu? His servants. Who are they? Tell us some Ganga. The Ganga, Tulsi. Guru Pad Padma. Guru Pad Padma. They are most beloved of the God. 
We don't take shelter of them. We cannot attain. Don't get Bhagwat Prapti. Don't cannot attain Bhagwat. Cannot attain God. You are worshiping God without worshiping Guru. So this is Bengali proverb. Those who worship God and doing bhajan of God without doing the Guru, they don't get any siddhi. They go to hell. There's the sloka he told. If someone do bhajan of God, they won't make Guru, then there is doubt. They won't get attain God. But look, if you take shelter of Guru and you do bhajan of God, then 100% definitely you will attain. That's why it is said, those who worship Krishna without worshiping Guru, that that sinful person goes to hell. So those who are worshipping God, oh, may I attain God, may I attain God. But no, they don't attain God. There are many, many explanations in the scriptures. First, we have to take shelter of the Guru. We have to take shelter of the lotus feet of Guru. Guru will take us, walk us towards God. That's why like nobody can be delivered from the material world without Guru. Shankar, Lord Shiva, like Lord, like Brahma, they become like this, many, many knowledge. If they don't have Guru, they cannot attain God. Even if they have qualifications of uh, Brahma, Shiva, if some, if some, maybe sometime God is upset with you, then God will, or Guru will protect. But if Guru is upset, is then pleased with you, then God cannot protect you. No one can protect you. Not even God can protect you. That's why we should have respect, unflinching faith, nishtha towards Guru. All the scriptures, this is explained. Those who have faith in the lotus feet of Guru, they possess the power of delivering the whole world. Those who have nishtha in the lotus feet of Guru, what is nishtha? Nishtha, nishchala buddhi. They do or die. Like even if you cut my body in pieces, then even then I will not give a varinam. So this type of nishta you should have in Guru. That Guru will take us to God. That's why Guru Nishta is very important. Guru Bhakti is known as the backbone of our spiritual life. For one life, we should get nishta towards Guru. Nothing else you have to do. One life we will definitely get in God. But this life, we will have full nishta towards Guru. Those who go here and there apart from Guru, they leave their Guru. Getting bhakti is far away. They don't even get any good in this material world. So we should have nishta in Guru. Why am I saying this? Today is Guru Puja, Vyasa Puja. Whatever I am saying. Prabhuji says this. This is your Puja. No, this is not my Puja. I, it's not my birthday today. You tell me. We do Guru Puja on the appearance day of Guru. We do Guru Puja. So the Krishna Deva Naveda Vyas. We are celebrating His appearance day. I am not saying, we are not saying. In Chaitanya Bhagavad Vrindavanda Thakur is saying very nicely, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Gaurahari. He held the hand of Nityananda Prabhu. He said, You all should read Chaitanya Bhagavad. Mahaprabhu said, Tomorrow is Purnima. Asadi Purnima. Asadi Purnima. This is Asad Mas, Asad month. And this Purnima is Asadi Purnima. 
महाप्रभु सेड हिमसेल्फ नित्यानंद टेल मी टोमोरो विल डू ग्यास पूजा ना साड़ी पूर्णिमा असाड मंथ व्हिच इज दिस मंथ दैट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड द पूर्णिमा ऑफ दिस मंथ लास्ट डे देन दिस सावन महीना विल बिगिन टोमोरो वी विल डू ग्यास पूजा श्रीवास ठाकुर हाथ पकड़ के नित्यानंद प्रभु टोक श्रीवास ठाकुर टू महाप्रभु एंड वी सोन इन द हाउस ऑफ श्रीवास ठाकुर वी विल डू ग्यास पूजा महाप्रभु सेट नित्यानंद श्रीवास इज ब्राह्मण यू नीड मनी फॉर व्यास पूजा और नॉट वट एवर यू से विदाउट मनी कैन एनी थिंग हैपन डू यू नीड टू बाई दिस गार्लेंट और नॉट यू बाय वेरी नाइस गार्लेंट और नो बट टेलिंग नाउ If you give someone good mala, good garland, someone give bad garland, then they will become angry. Like, don't give anyone; just give Thakurji and Prasad. Give to anyone who is lucky. Who so the first come first get? See, this is the thing. If you give someone good garland and if you give someone a bad garland, then they will be offended. They will say, "Oh no, no, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want." But when they will go, they will say. My garland was the worst. And the Vyasasan, the person who is sitting on the Vyasasan, he had a big, big flower. Jai Mala, Jai Mala, like the victory garland. At the time of Prasad, food, Prasad came, but in my plate, my plate was broken. People say this way. I am saying this because Mahaprabhu is saying, not saying. We will do Vyas Devi. This poor Brahman Sri Vyas, how will he do? He has no money at all. You need money or no? Whatever you say, any katha I say, after katha, what do you need? You need food. You cannot do bhajan if you are hungry. भजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल एवरी देर इज प्रसाद फॉर एवरीबडी और नॉट टूडे इज देर फूड और नो यादव जी ही हेज प्रिपेयर ब्यूटिफुल डिलिशियस आइटम्स फॉर एवरीबडी एंड आर कीर्तन यू आर वेरी ब्यूटिफुल मेलोडियस वॉइस इज इट कीर्तन ऑल्सो कीर्तन ऑल्सो इन टू मिनट्स आई विल फिनिश म्यूजिक डांस एवरी थिंग शुड बी देर There are three things in Mahaprabhu Sankirtan: Nitya Gita, Tapadra. Then it is complete. Nitya Gita, dance, nothing, dance, music, and katha. So Mahaprabhu is saying, but without money, nothing works. So how will Sri Vas do Vyas Puja? Need to make many, many arrangements. How will he do food? Many, many things need to be arranged. You see, very beautiful. This is the decorated, decorated or not? The decorated Thakur ji very nicely also. And many many fruits also. This is not coming for free. You spend money or not? That's why Mahaprabhu is saying, this poor Brahman Sri Vas. How will he do? Thus Thakur he grabbed the feet of Mahaprabhu. He said, Prabhu. You are Lakshmi Pati, husband of Lakshmi. You have Lakshmi. No problem. You just give me blessing. Mahaprabhu got happy. He said, "Sri Vas, I give you blessing." And next day, tomorrow, where will we do Vyas Puja? Everybody come, please. Delhi. Delhi. Raman Bihari, Gaudiya Mart.
everybody come. Thousands of people will be there. Pandam Maharaj, Secretary. He opens his heart in all the events. No problem. He organizes so nicely everything. Our Prabhuji. Ramchandra Prabhuji. Vishnu Dutt Prabhu. They all arrange everything very nicely. I am saying this. Trust Thakur held the Mahaprabhu and he said, You just give me blessing. And next day, with the desire of Mahaprabhu, all the type of arrangements were done. All the arrangements were done. And all the devotees, from morning they started Kirtan. And they started to listen about the biography of Vyasadeva. Like Ramchandra Prabhu and Padmanam Maharaj Ji and Sant Maharaj. And, uh, and uh, Prabhu, Sham Prabhu. Rashtamani Didi and all the devotees. They, are, they can speak so much. The time is less. I want you all to speak and I listen. But yet, my, my tongue is like, just speak something. My tongue says, speak something. So from morning to afternoon, they did Kirtan, Harikata, a beautiful Harikata Vyasdev and Harikata Vyasdev. And then it was afternoon. Mahaprabhu said, by doing kirtan, there's so much problem. Mahaprabhu says, I know this. This is not easy. There is so much pain coming. Only Mahaprabhu knows, he said. So when afternoon came, 1130, Mahaprabhu said, Look, you should offer garland to Vyastek, to good Pushpanjali, could offer flowers to Vyastek, Suman, Sundra, with very beautiful flowers they offered to Vyastek, Lotus Sweet. Suman means like beautiful, Man means consciousness, a heart, beautiful heart. When there's a one flower named Suman. Suman is name of a flower and the Suman also means like a pure consciousness, pure heart. So create your pure heart and then you offer that to God. Offer your pure heart, your pure consciousness, everything to God. A beautiful garland which you give. First who will offer in the Vyasadeva Lotus Feet? Nityananda Prabhu. The garland was given to Nityanand Prabhu and Nityanand Prabhu, he grabbed the garland, two to four minutes like this, he grabbed the garland and then Mahaprabhu Jod Srivast, see how many people are standing behind you. They want to give, offer the flowers to the lotus feet of Vyasadeva. First you give, Nityanand, 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 Nityanand said, Oi, hoi, hoi, I'm giving, I'm giving, wait, 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 not giving, six minutes pass by, and at the end, Nityanand Prabhu, he grabbed the garland, he did not give to Vyasdev, he gave it to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, Why? Who is Adi Guru? Krishna Mande Jagat Guru. Understand this thing. Nityananda Prabhu, Guru Tattva. He is Guru Tattva. He is giving learning, teaching. But who is Adi Guru? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ram Chand Prabhu said, Guru Parampara. Oh, it should be there. So who is in Guru Parampara? Krishna, 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 Krishna,
Then Brahma, Narad, Vyas, Sukh, and this is how Guru Parampara is coming. You give a very beautiful example. He is telling you about the water tank, pipeline, and the taps. You have a very beautiful example. But okay, Guru Parampara. Guru Padman is giving example. This bulb is here, you have wire also. But if there is no powerhouse connectivity, not connected, then if bulb is here, wire is here, the bulb will not work. What is the meaning? We have to come along with Guru Parampara. Connectivity, we need this connection. One is Shishya Parampara and one is Bhagavat Parampara. We will talk about this. This is a very deep confidential thing. We will listen about this. This is all Guru Parampara. Shivji is saying, Second line is Tadhyanam Samarchanam. Who are the most beloved, dear, most of God is Guru Pad Padma. We can attain everything by their mercy. This is Guru Para. This is the Katha of Vyas Deva. Krishna Deva Advaita Vyas Appearance Day. This Vyas Dev Mahaprabhu established this process. So I will tell you also that Advaita Vadi is Vyas Puja. Mayavadi Vyas Puja and Gaudiya Sampradaya. Vyas Puja is a very special quality in Gaudiya. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada is told. Advaita Vadi is Mayavadi, their Vyas Puja is not proper Vyas Puja. I am not saying. Don't challenge me. Challenge Bhakti Siddhanta Srila Prabhupada. He wrote this. Why? Because he believes in Vyas Dev. But they don't accept the teachings of Vyas. That's why their Guru Puja is not good, pointless. Because they're not taking his learnings. Vyas Dev said God has very beautiful form, and Advaita Vadis are saying God has no form. So they are not accepting the learning of Vyas, the teaching of Vyas. They are just thinking, oh, Vyas is Guru. They are not accepting the teaching of Guru. They are taking the teaching of Guru and not listening to Guru, disobeying Guru. This is Apradi. So if you want to make Guru, you have to accept the Guru's learnings and Guru's instructions also. If you don't take, this is... Kukuti means idiot, stupid. Kukuti. Okay, so sorry, Kukuti means a uh, hen. Hen gives egg from the back. And they don't want the front part of the hen because they have to feed. Because the back part of the hen gives egg. So Kukuti means this. So, there were two brothers, they had a hen, they have a hen, and they were thinking, how to divide this? Okay, you cut the hen, you took half of the hen, and half of the hen I will take. So, back side of the hen, it gives egg, and front side of the hen, it gives uh, chicken. Chicken. The front side of the chicken, it you have to feed, and the back side of the chicken, it gives eggs. So you have to accept it like the whole chicken will work, right? So that's like this. You will have to accept everything given by Guru, his instructions and his teaching. You have to accept this. So this is complete Vyas Puja.
And the Prabhupada expressed this beautifully. There are very beautiful, beautiful things explained in Gaudiya Sampradaya. There is not in any other Sampradaya, any other culture. This is Krishna Daivan, Veda Vyas, Appearance Day, and we're listening about him. Yathav Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established this. He established this and respecting his previous acharyas and he manifested Achintya Veda Ved Tattva Siddhant. I told in one word. He summarized the four sampradayas uh, ideology and then he established Achinta Veda Ved Tattva Siddhant. He manifested this. Where the result is he he explained many many tattvas very very nicely and established all of them in the world that's why nityanand prabhu offered this garland to mahaprabhu and he also established this fact that chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself krishna mande jagat guru this is guru parampara you can attain anything. I would like to say this and, and my Harikata today and offer my pranams to all the Gurus and all the Vishwas. I offer my Pushpanjali. <coughs> yeah.